We got the moon out there. She's right there. Right there. Got a helicopter flying over. What's up, Soul Fab? Another night in the tent. Another night to be grateful. So I was headed to this beach, this island, Fiesta Island, but I fucking was on the wrong side of the highway and I couldn't cross over. So I ended up ended up on the same bike trail. And uh, I don't think you're supposed to pop tents here. There was actually a sign across the way that said endangered animal, no trespassing. But it, I think that was the other side of the fence. I'm not sure. But either way, I set my attention for my angels to protect me and my highest good. And whatever it ain't in alignment, I'm safe. From. But I got the whole fucking cart in here. Look, I didn't want to put it outside. I wanted to make packing up as easy as possible. You know, because I'll probably be waking up around like 5 a.m. I'm right next to a work zone. Like, I could see the sign, work zone ahead. So I want to beat them to work, you know? But yeah, fucking laying under this moon's decent. Like, it looks 3D as fuck. You got all the stars. True blessing. True blessing. So what am I grateful for? I'm grateful for having a functional body that is pain-free. I am fucking grateful for all four limbs, my legs. I'm grateful for this fucking divine cart. I'm grateful for the pillow under my head, sleeping bag, the tent. I'm fucking grateful for all you, all your divine support. I'm grateful for the air that I breathe, the food that I get to experience. Are you experiencing your food or are you just eating? Most people just eat. It's important to experience it, you know? A lot of people don't understand that. Like, the reason why you give thanks and you bless your food is because it puts your body in a state of gratitude. And when your body's in a state of gratitude, it's in a state of receiving. And your body accepts the nutrients a lot more efficiently than if you were just gobbled down your food. Now, I myself, I'm a fast eater. I fucking just jam it down my fucking throat hole. But, like, I give thanks. I bless my food. If you're familiar with fucking Reiki, you could chokeray <laughs> chokeray your fucking your food chokeray 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 but I'm grateful for fucking it's being free my spirit loves to be free so I'm living a dream and then I got this fucking body of water right next to me I'm grateful for that too you know when you hang out to by near bodies of water it helps balance your sacral chakra right because the sacral chakra is the water element, so it flows like water. So whenever you focus on your sacral, it's orange. The element is water. You know? So being next to bodies of water, you set your attention for the high vibrational water to, to balance out your, your sacral. And your sacral is how you express yourself, your inner child, you know, it has to do with your, your your sexual health. You know, whether you're a lustful person or maybe you have a low sex drive or maybe, you know, you experience some, some type of sexual trauma that you hold on to. You need to heal it through your, through your sacral chakra. You know, you can use certain stones of that color, like uh, um, bloodstone, um, there's a bunch of them. Whatever orange crystals or orange stones you have, you could use to balance out your sacral. Orange fruit, of course. Grapefruits are powerful. Oranges. Carrots. For sure. What else am I grateful for? I'm grateful for the fucking shoes I have. I was grateful to do my laundry yesterday. I'm grateful that I was fully supported for the day. I had everything that I needed. Everything that I believe it takes to have a fulfilling day. I am just grateful all around. What are you grateful for? You know, leave a comment if you want. But other than that, yeah, I'm just chilling. I got 
my snacks, right? They got this fucking bargain discount market out here. Had the same one in Washington State. All types of cool snacks. I love granola bars. I love granola. I love oatmeal. Oatmeal and peanut butter with granola and fucking chopped fruit. Shit's bomb. I love carbs. I'm a carburetor. My body was fucking built for carbs straight up. A lot of people can't handle carbs. But I keep on getting like this got like this message. I think I'm supposed to like go keto for a little bit. I don't know though. You know, I don't know. I don't know about going carbless. I'd probably rather go well, I've been going without sex, but like if there was, you know, healthy sex <laughs> and c carbs, and I had to choose one, <laughs> I don't know. It depends on how much fucking carbs were there and what kind of carbs. The good kind? <laughs> the sugary kind? Or the fucking other kind? That's not true, because if it was somebody that, I, well, obviously it would be someone that I cared for and loved, and... Of course I'm going to choose that. But I'm just saying, you know, I love carbs. <laughs> but, you know, I don't think many people know what it's like to fucking make love to somebody that they actually love. I don't even think I do, you know, because all the love that I had is the fucking needy kind, you know. It And it seems authentic at the time because it's at, at your level of awareness, you know. It seems like, you know, loving, intimate sex. But really, it's just needy, I need a nut type sex, you know. And, um, yeah. It's the majority of what the world's having, you know. And I could imagine what it would be like to fucking really, you know, because true sex, you know, your fucking souls merge, you know. Straight merge. And that book I read, I read this book called The Blueprint, The 13 fucking, what is it, like The 13, it's The Christ Blueprint, right? And that's what he said, that's one way to reach your highest level ascension is through sex. But I know other people's beliefs don't always align with that, you know, they feel like they could do it on their own, and who knows, you know. But there's just, you know, certain things that we could do to kind of speed up the process. But it has to be with an individual you fully connect with, you know, that you're open with. A lot of people, they're not open. Me, I'm open. I'm an open fucking book. I'll fuck it. I'm almost too open. Make a motherfucker uncomfortable, you know? But that's okay. That's just pushing somebody out their comfort zone, you know? In the most loving, compassionate way. But I'm gonna fucking get to these snacks and um, sit here and be with the moon. Fucking pull up some earth. Fucking earth is my pillow. The earth is my bed. The earth is my home. The earth is my kitchen. The earth is my bathroom. The earth is fucking all. It's not all, it's actually just material. And if it's material, it's not the all. If you could see it, it's not the all. If you could smell it, if you could taste it, it's not the all. All you could do is experience it. It's just an experience. It's nothing you could touch with your five senses. But either way, fucking hopefully we, somebody got something out this video. I'll fucking talk to y'all tomorrow. Hasta mañana, fucking spiritual beings. <laughs> One more time at the moon. Say goodnight, Mother Moon.